Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let me take a note of the start time so we can stay on track, but we are here with Sarah Farasia. Hi, David Yonchev. Very David. professional today. We're on point today, honey. We got a lot to do, including we just sold three more tickets for VIP. That means we are down to less than 10 tickets oh, to our VIP. My. Virtual show June 5th, baby. That means get in your favorite pajamas. There will be prizes for best dressed pajamas and more. Uh, get in your pajamas, grab a cocktail, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. David and I are mentioning it all. We are going to record a little mini live podcast for regular admission and VIP. VIP, you get access to both. And then regular admission, we love you so much. We're going to have you exit stage right. And then VIP, it's going to get crazy. Uh, we have just a few tickets left and VIP. You can ask office. anything you want. We cannot plead the fifth. For VIP. $30 VIP, 15 regular admission. You go to Eventbrite. You go to Sarah Fraser show on Instagram. It's in my bio. You can't miss it. Eventbrite, search David Yontif. Search behind the velvet rope. Search Sarah Fraser. Boom, it'll be up there. We don't want to leave our house to our guides. We know you don't want to leave your house. So don't. June 5th is going to be so fun. It's a Wednesday night, baby. All of your favorite Behind the Velvet Ropers and TSFers, boom, we're all going to be in one place for a fun night. So that, oh, and by the way, we do have one sponsorship. We're only taking on two sponsorships. So we are taking on a new sponsorship opportunity, less than $1,000, by the way. You can email the Sarah Fraser Show at gmail.com. If you are listening and you own a business. We opened one up, less than 1000 guys. Yeah, yeah, and we we just sold our banner sponsor, by the way. So that that slot is already taken. But less than a thousand bucks, your company can get shout outs, commercials, a lot, and you can do a giveaway. So you're giving away your product. Uh, don't miss this opportunity. We have an incredible audience. So the Sarah Fraser Show at gmail.com with any questions. If you want to do the sponsorship, maybe look, maybe you're a podcaster that loves us. By the sponsorship, we'll promote your podcast live that night and in addition to that on both podcasts. You don't want to miss this. It's going to be really fun. That's who should buy it, a podcast. The people that listen to podcasts yes. listen to other podcasts. It's a captive audience. If I were a podcast out there that was a smaller podcast or medium size, I, I would buy this for $500. I, I really would, but I mean, mm -hmm. it's my show, so I'm not going to pay the 500 to advertise my own podcast, but I would in another life. Um, opportunity. Yes. Kyle Richards has got a lot to say lately. He's got a lot to say this Kyle Richards. Uh, did you not love the video of the rat on her, um, Range Rover? <laughs> I, I got a question for you. Right. So there's this video for everyone who hasn't seen it. Kyle gets in the car. There's a rat on the Range Rover in the mirror. She now says that she truly was freaking out, which listen, I... And she says that she didn't start the car to drive away because her rear view mirrors or the mirrors turn like when you start the car. And if she yes. did that, she thinks that the mirror would have crushed the rat. Right. Now, look, I mean, granted, I don't know who's filming this or what goes through her mind to take out the camera to film this if you're really that freaked out. But I did enjoy it. I have to say, you know, I was away in LA all winter, I come home to my Hamptons house. I open, I see, you know, you get, listen, in the Hamptons, you get, but sometimes the creepy crawlers, you get the roly polies, you get, you get bugs in the Hamptons, you know, yeah. Lyme disease. So like, you know, Hot yeah, I've, I, it's not like I open and roaches are not like in the Hamptons, but I've seen like maybe three creepy crawlers since I've been back for four days. Creepy crawlers don't bother me. You kill the roly poly, you kill this, whatever, a water bug, whatever. I have to say vermin, mice, rats, all of that does truly freak me out. So I understand it. But I just want to know, my question is, I mean, look, this Tam rat should just keep her tacky ass down in the fucking OC. What the hell? Because I think that was the Tam rat. What the hell is the Tam rat doing all the way up in LA, stalking Kyle, trying to get on RHOBH? God is punishing me because now I'm coughing. Excuse me. 
But it's true. Like you have this Tamra with her acid wash, true religion jeans and her Ed Hardy fucking hat. Like it's 1993. What is the Tamra doing up here in LA, <laughs> Beverly Hills, trying to get on R-H-O-B-H, trying to befriend Kyle. Go back to the OC, Tamra. There's no Gouda for you in Beverly Hills. Block me again, rat, Tamrat. I don't care. The so. memes that came out of this, my favorite one is the picture of the rat. And it's saying, so are you a lesbian or what? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. How the I mean, internet is we do want to know. We do want to know. I mean, Kyle has got that. The rat was funny. Uh, Kyle has got a lot to say. Now, uh, tell me what, what does she have? I, I know she was on Amazon Live, but tell me what is a lot to say? What does she what does she have? What, what? And LVP has a lot to say lately, too. Well, they're asking Kyle who has hurt her the most over the years. You know, we had a problem with Carlton, the witch, witchy poo. Um, she's had a lot of ups and downs, LVP. She says uh, last year, Sutton and uh, Dorito have hurt her the most, that she was going through a lot with Mo, the end of her marriage of 27 years, and... Uh, isn't really sure why Sutton had to bring that onto the show and kept insisting for answers. I mean, Sutton is a sleuth. She wanted answers about Mr. Girardi. And uh, she said uh, Dorito is right up there that never in all her time has she taken a personal text off air and brought it onto the show. And that uh, Dorito bringing this onto the show, the text that she sent her was very hurtful. And her and Dorito have sat down at Sutton's party, surrealism party, but uh, things are not okay with her and Dorito. We have a season here where Dorito is, Dorito's going to be a main, main part of this season, going through a separation and fighting with Kyle. This is what Dorito wanted for years. Uh, look, I think that Kyle probably misjudged that Dorito will do anything, I think, at this point to stay on this show, right? And there's a lot coming out about Dorito. A lot. Like what? Your well, your friend, Kyle, uh, your friend, Ronald Richards, I'm probably also blocked by him. He, uh, yeah, he don't he like you. Like no, he doesn't like me. He's, uh, you know, I wanted to ask him about his ex-wife on the show and when he came on my show and he had a very big problem with that. His ex-wife is married to, um, Oh, you know, who's Mnuchin there? The old treasury guy. For, with well, did he tell you not to bring it up? And did you bring it up? No, he didn't tell me prior. I brought it up. I said, what do you think of your ex-wife out with Mnuchin living the life and uh, in the private jets tagging all her designer goods when the world is uh, struggling? But he did not care for that. Anyhow, enough Ronald, about Ronald, I didn't do it. I'm on enough about side. me. I like you, Ronald <laughs> Richards. Uh, do not hold anything that this wild 